1937 Hambletonian was won by a maiden trotter. Could that be uh, true, Delvin Miller? That's absolutely right. The week before at Old Orchard, Maine, she'd reared up and threw herself and didn't even know whether she was going to be able to start. But Henry Thomas did a superb job for Hanover Shoe Farm in winning the, her maiden victory in the Hamiltonian with her. Now, some members of uh, the organization there in New York uh, wanted to put into the rules that a maiden couldn't be entered in the Hamiltonian? That's why we moved the Hamiltonian. Just polit politicians wanted to make our rules that we knew how to make them. Okay. Not a thing wrong with a maiden winning a major stake, is there? No, there's two, two maidens that won the Hamiltonian. Who was the other one? Uh, the Ambassador. The Ambassador. Owned by Bill Strang. Well, let's take a look at the 1937 Hamiltonian, as the winner will be, Shirley Hanover. Delvin, in 1937, they did not have paramutual wagering, That's did That's right. And right there are the bookmakers. You just got a glimpse of them. Something that uh, a lot of people probably have never seen That's right. in harness racing. They still have them in England, you know, at the thoroughbreds and also the trotters and in Australia and New Zealand too. The bookmakers go along with the tote. Shirley Hanover, a winner in 201 and a half. Uh, the timing was different uh, coming up with halves and quarters and three quarters. That's right. They, we finally got it changed because there's fifth seconds on a watch and that's mm -hmm. why it was changed. I don't know how it, it must have had quarter seconds on the watch before. But she had driven by a great horseman, Henry Thomas. Henry Thomas coming down the lane to win the 1937 Hamiltonian with Shirley Hanover. Winning time, 201 and a half. The purse, $37,000.